Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, if you have an atom stack laser engraver and you've had to elevate it to burn like tumblers or to use the rotary attachment and you have used these, then you probably realize just how inadequate these actually are. I'm pretty sure that atom stack found these uh, available pre-made probably for some other uh, device. For some reason, I want to. It almost looks like a camera, some kind of a camera mount with this uh, screw insert here in the bottom of it. If you look at this width here, it's about two and a half times the width of what the thickness of the leg is. Even whenever you drop the leg down in here and you snug this up on it, it scuffs up the powder coating, and it doesn't really lock it in solid. I mean, the whole thing sits there and wobbles. Well, if you run your laser printer or your laser engraver at a high speed you know that induces wobbling and you're trying to burn as accurate of a, of a project as you can these are not the way to go so let me tell you or let me show you what I've come up with so I designed these in Fusion 360 I modeled them up to where the leg snugly fits right down in this slot and I put a hole in it to where if you want to put a quarter twenty by half inch long cap screw through this you can drill out the existing hole on the leg to a quarter inch and uh, buy you some quarter twenty cap screws that are half inch long and you'll be able to put a cap screw in these I did thread this back piece so what I did whenever I printed mine out is I used a support blocker right here and I made this entire section right here solid so I've got twenty percent infill in the entire print except for this piece right here all the way through right here where it's sandwiches tight with a cap screw and where these threads are it's all solid plastic that way uh, that's going to give you the max strength not only for the screw but whenever it tries to you know sandwiches it sandwich it together on the leg you've got as much uh, strength holding it but let me show you the first version that I made for myself and then I'll show you the differences between what you're going to get to download for free. I'm going to make these available on Thingiverse and I'm also going to put them over on LAHobbyGuy.com uh, If you haven't been to his uh, website you need to go over there and check it out. He is, uh, he is top notch when it comes to these lasers and uh, information on them. So uh, this was the first version that I did that actually was complete and ready to go. I call this version 1. It's virtually the same thing that I just showed. Now I printed, whenever I first made these, this was going to be what you was going to download, which would have been just fine. Uh, you can print this off uh, and it's going to work just like that. But then I said to myself, self, why don't you print a rubber pad at a TPU you know, if you're not familiar with TPU, TPU is a, almost like a uh, soft rubber uh, filament that you can print things with. And the only reason I did that is, you know, if, you're, if you've got your laser engraver sitting on something delicate, which most people's probably not, but if you do, you know, you want something soft on the feet of whatever it is that you're setting it on. So I printed these little rubber pads so that you just stick on the bottom and then you've got uh, you know a, a softer uh, extension base to, to you know sit down on your table it also gives a little bit more grip so it's not sliding around the way you know the way plastic does um, so you know that makes it a little nicer too now just so you know, if you do go with the quarter 20 cap screw, this hole here is 210 thousandths. And I'm sure it's metric, whatever that is in metric. But you'll need to drill that out to quarter inch if you're going to put a cap screw in yours. But let me show you how these fit. Very easy. And there you go. And it makes for a very solid, insecure um, base whenever you've got, you know, Whenever you got weight on that, it doesn't go anywhere. Now, let me show you what you're going to download. That was version 1, or what I call version 1. This is going to be the version that you are going to end up downloading. And if you look, 
hopefully that shows up if you see this feature right here on the on the bottom and how it bevels out I made that so that it will hold more securely the rubber pad if you choose to download this now you can download this and print it and use it just just as is just like that if you don't have TPU or you don't have any luck printing with TPU just print it and download it and use it just like that not an issue but what's nice about this new design is once you do print out your TPU pad once it's stuck on there it's a nice uh, you know it's a nice secure fit doesn't go anywhere and there you have it now the next step up from this because I got thinking to myself self what if someone wants to elevate it just a little bit more well I made these one inch extensions for the original leg extension if you notice the bottoms are threaded three quarters uh, three quarter by ten I think is what this thread pitch is and so if you do want to increase the height you just screw the extension on now you're an inch higher and again the same feature on the bottom of the one inch extension so that you can stick on one of the uh, TPU pads and now you got a, a one inch higher if you need it two inches higher Print off some more of these. The end of that extension is threaded. Screw on another extension, and there you go. Now you're two inches higher. Now let me show you how I came up with the dimension on how I decided what height, I guess, that I was going to make this. What I did is I come over here and I mounted up a Yeti tumbler. And you can see how, how much room. I mean, you, you know, this is a smaller uh, 20 ounce, I think, the 32 ounce. Uh, you know, it's got a, wi a wider top here, but you've got another inch right here to go. So you can go, you know, that's all the way as high as it'll go, and it'll go all the way down, you know, to the actual tumbler itself. So I figured 2.7 inches is what I come up with for this uh, extension. Now, if you need to go higher, that's where the one inch uh, extension comes from here. So that's pretty much these leg extensions in a nutshell. Uh, like I say, they're going to be free on Thingiverse. Now the only thing that you need to know, I guess, is you've got one file for both the right front and left rear they're both identical if you take this one flip it 180 that fits the left rear then you've got a file for the right rear which is separate by itself then you got a file for this corner one because it's a totally different animal as you can see there from here down is exactly the same thing that from here up is an L-shaped setup uh, so there's three files there. One file, you're going to print two of these. One file, you're going to print one of the right rear. And then one file to print the left front. And then there's going to be a file for the one inch extension. And then a file for the rubber base. So just download whatever parts you need. And print out, you know, to your desire. However you uh, want to print them. Now I did not use supports. I tried to design these to where no supports was going to be needed. If you notice in the hole, at the top of the hole, there's just a little bit of, uh, you know, trashy printing. But once you run a quarter 20 cap screw in there, it cleans that hole up without any problem. But if you wanted to use supports, I think, depending on how you got your settings set up, the only supports that you're going to have are right here in this hole. But this section here should not need any supports. The, uh, the threaded part doesn't need any supports, so it's a nice, easy print. Anyway, that's pretty much it. 
go to Thingiverse or go to LAHobbyGuy.com and download uh, these extensions. Now, you can also, if you want to put a drag chain on your Atom stack, I also made uh, these little brackets so that you can add a drag chain uh, really easy to your Atom stack. Also, I've got a video on that too. But uh, And the parts are also on Thingiverse for free uh, for these pieces uh, and also on LAHobbyGuy.com. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want to lift your machine and you want a nice solid uh, way to do it, this is the answer. You guys take care.